21st Century Rosicrucianism by Frato Robert Gordon is the book that I've been reading over the past weekend a little bit. It's um, a, been a very interesting read and so interesting in fact that I have um, decided that yes it is definitely worth showing this to you despite it being a paperback. Um, it is not very often that I show paperbacks on my channel and uh, this should really give you an idea of how much I've actually enjoyed the contents here. Now um, uh, I'll start off with the form because if there's very little to say it is a paperback after all. Um, uh, I'm, uh, I feel like uh, this could have easily been an ebook in the way that it's presented. You know, these very, very dense, large paragraphs with barely any margin at all. It, it feels suffocating to look at on the page. I think that as an ebook, you'd be able to select, you know, the, the size of your font and uh, uh, it would be overall a more enjoyable experience. Of course, there are a few color paintings inside which are which are very nice um, uh, there are there are a good number of illustrations in fact all the way through um, but uh, generally I think that if you're going to put a book onto actual paper uh, then uh, I think a, 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 a little more effort with the presentation uh, needs to be uh, to, to be made. Of course this does keep the number of pages down to about 250 if I remember correctly. Um, but uh, I think that this could have done with being spread over 350 pages uh, quite easily. All right, so that's that's my my only negative point about this. Now, now let me get to the good stuff, and it's all, all the rest is good stuff. This is the best introduction to Rosicrucianism that I can uh, think of. It's fantastic because it not only presents Rosicrucianism in its historical context, it makes it relevant to today, right? So this whole first section here uh, talks about really the, yeah, the, the validity of Rosicrucianism in the modern world. These are essays all written by Frater Robert Gordon over the past 10, 12 years. I think the earliest one here is 2010. Yes, I think that makes sense. And then uh, they, they, yeah, you can see there all, all through the, uh, the years up until 2022 would be his, his very latest uh, writings there that I included in this particular book. Yeah, as I was saying, this first part here is all about what Rosicrucianism is and it divides it into these three sections here. So this is uh, this is like an introduction to the whole thing and then uh, over here you get the three main parts, uh, the practical path, uh, uh, the paths, excuse me, of Rosicrucianism. So the, 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 the practices in fact. The paths to utopia, Rosicrucian engagement in the world today, so the social aspect of Rosicrucianism. And finally, the sacred art of spiritual retreat. So this whole section on spiritual retreat, which is beautiful, absolutely beautiful, so nicely written with, with such a, a deep understanding of the purpose of spiritual retreat and great tips for people who might struggle to, uh, to, to escape on a spiritual retreat, right? Uh, so it gives many different ways in which you can do that, that are useful and that actually have the effect that's desired from a spiritual retreat, um, uh, despite being in the modern world, right? Despite being in 2022, where so many of us live in the city centers uh, with, with, you know, it's, it's not so easy to take five months out to, to go and find your holy guardian angel, you know. Um, uh, so so th this was, a, this was a, a, a real highlight for me. Then you've got part two, which is living tradition. And I'd say that that's actually the bulk of the book. And this has been really, really nice. Um, uh, this is looking at the the, the, you could say the secret teachings of, uh, of Rosicrucianism. Um, at least the, uh, the 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 essential ones, right? Uh, and it gives examples. So it's talking uh, uh, about 
Yeah, it talks a lot about Christianity, um, but from, a, from an esoteric point of view. In fact, this last one here, Christ and the Perennial Tradition, uh, I would say should be, should be essential reading for, for many people who call themselves Christian following uh, an esoteric Christian path. Uh, very, very beautiful. Uh, the author is clearly very knowledgeable uh, on many of the traditions that have used Christianity as part of their practice. So, for example, Golden Dawn, um, uh, he, he regularly quotes uh, Mathers and uh, uh, I, I can't remember if he quotes Crowley, but, but certainly, um, uh, you know, uh, he, he is very knowledgeable on the topic of um, of uh, ceremonial magic and then he's also very knowledgeable on the topic of perennialism and as you know uh, perennialism uh, maybe not every author uh, who calls themselves a perennialist uh, would be what I would call um, my, my, um, my, my, my guides but uh, you know there, there are plenty who are, who are very nasty people <laughs> uh, and who in my opinion have completely misunderstood the idea of perennialism but certainly the, um, uh, the, the, the main ones such as um, um, uh, Aldous Huxley and René Guénon uh, I, I have a lot of respect for and their uh, oh, and the, 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 the greatest uh, perennialist, uh, Christian perennialist, should I say, would be Houston Smith, whose ideas I, I, I very much adhere to. And um, yeah, and all of this really comes through in, in this part over here, where the, um, uh, the, the, the esoteric uh, natures of various Christian um, concepts are explored in depth. It's fantastic, really very, very interesting stuff. And then part three over here is actually quite short. Uh, it starts on page uh, 215 and goes through to uh, page 250 more or less. And uh, yeah, it's the last few pages uh, of, uh, of the book. Uh, and, and you'll see uh, if I actually, yeah, here we go. This is where it starts. Uh, and that's part three, basically. So actually quite short. And this is about the social aspects, right? This is, these are some uh, essays that the author wrote when he was uh, working at St. Paul's Cathedral uh, and was asked to make a few, um, a few uh, uh, essays available online um, uh, to talk a little bit about, uh, yeah, as you can see, social aspects, social and political aspects of, um, uh, of, uh, of, of, of esoteric Christianity and Rosicrucianism in general. There we are. That's a, that's a very, very brief overview of 21st century Rosicrucianism. I really enjoyed this. As I say, I wish that it had been better presented. Um, I wish that more effort had been put into uh, making, just making it visually appealing, you know. Uh, but uh, in terms of the contents, the way it's written is very, very approachable. It's very, um, uh, the, the, the author is aware of his public, right? He's not writing for himself, he's writing for the reader and that is a joy to read. Uh, so, so that, to a to a very large extent, makes up for the uh, for the for the presentation. Um, uh, it's very quite easy to get lost in uh, in his words and to um, uh, to 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 get to get immersed into what he's saying, which is essential with with nonfiction. Um, uh, just as much as with fiction, of course, and many people forget that with nonfiction. They feel like uh, yeah, as long as the information is getting out there, then it doesn't matter. But no, the, the author is very um, aware that uh, attentions need to be kept and uh, there's plenty of humour in there. And uh, uh, yeah, as I say, he's writing for his audience. So that's really, really nice. There we are. Uh, maybe a, a, a close up on, on some of the, the colour the color images over here. Uh, there we go. Just to give you an idea of the, the quality of the print, it's uh, you know it's it's um, it's it's a, a little faded as you might expect on on a regular uh, matte paper, but nevertheless quite and quite a nice um, quite an uh, yeah. Considering uh, the medium, uh, that these are quite nice reproductions of these uh, of these images. There we are. 
I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope that you found it uh, useful. Don't forget to check the links down below uh, to order these, uh, to order this if uh, the book sounds appealing to you. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up also. That really helps with the channel and to subscribe if you haven't done so already and click that little bell button so that you actually f get notified by YouTube or actually see my videos in your feed when, um, uh, when, when, you, when you reach YouTube rather than having to go to your subscriptions. Uh, which is all tucked away and, and people never get to see those, right? Uh, so yeah, and uh, also, yeah, check out the uh, the comments down below. Uh, I've left some, some ways in which you can help the channel if you would like to help the channel. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. As I say, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon with another video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.